Hi, I'm Donna Britt. And I'm Andre Morrow. Topping our news tonight, busted in a local gym. A Walker man was caught on camera using his cell phone camera, allegedly to get video of a woman changing her clothes. WAP's David Spunt joins us with the story tonight, David. Well, Donna, this video lets your eyes see the alleged crime, what we're talking about here. And let me tell you that it will make you think twice about your privacy the next time you head out. Take a look. 24-year-old Daryl Graham was working out at this Anytime Fitness in Walker. But it wasn't just any workout. Police say Graham used his cell phone camera to take video of a woman changing in the bathroom. That's pretty bold to go in there and, and try to do this. Walker Police Chief Hunter Grimes says Graham, the man seen in the white cutoff shirt, had most likely seen the female victim at the gym before. We are protecting the woman's identity in this video, but you can still see her walk into the bathroom. Moments later, the video shows Graham walking back and forth near the bathroom in the top left of your screen. He bent over to tie his shoe. Police say that's when he stuck his cell phone under the door. She feels violated. She's very upset about this because, you know, she goes into a gym to work out and train just like uh, my, I do and my wife does. After a witness spotted him, Graham picked up his phone, paced around for a while, and left the scene. The woman later came out of the bathroom having no clue what just happened. But wait, Graham then went back into the same bathroom for a few minutes. The witness later reported Graham, and he was taken into custody. Our main concern is to further investigate this to see if he's a member of any other type of 24-hour facility uh, or any other type of gym to where this could have happened. Now, Daryl Graham is out on $25,000 bond tonight. He's set to appear before a judge in mid-August. I looked up the actual offense in the Louisiana State Code today. It says if convicted, he could face uh, up to about six months and have to register himself as a sex offender. So we'll keep you updated on that, Donna. Thank you, David. Topping tonight's street, the 